and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a mini Christmas haul of just some of the lovely things that I found going around the shop at the weekend. A um, lot of it was under a pound. I think pretty much all of it was under a pound. This was five pound. I had a gift card though for ten pounds so technically I got it for free. It was a gift from somebody and I love them and I just love doing them. So these are little oh, upside down little photo cards that you put a little photo inside and it says from all of us at Christmas and I do these every single year they used to be just miles and then last year we got our first one with Ella in it and yeah I'm gonna be doing this again this year or if you're looking for a cheaper version of these photo cards then head over to eBay as well because these are the ones that I normally get these were a pound for five and they've got a nice red one on this side and a different one on that side. So then I headed over to the pound shop or pound world or pound land, one of them. Um, and they had the ro rose gold uh, cutty, cutty, cu <laughs> cookie cutters. <laughs> what the hell is a cutty? which I thought was super cute and they'll be good for like a Christmas Eve box as well. Um, I couldn't do it because Miles bought them with me, but never mind. So these will be good for when we do gingerbread men. I then picked up these little snowmen, which will be brilliant to go around Miles' window at night time. They're just so, so cute and they're battery operated ones. So I think they were really, really cute. Then we've got our gel window stickers that says, oh, 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 let it snow. I just, I absolutely love these. Every single year we buy loads and fill Miles' window with them. If you didn't see, I um, put some in my Christmas Eve boxes as well. There's one for Ella and one for Miles. And I just think they are such a small thing, but it makes him just sit there and use his fine motor skills and putting them on and on the window, on and on, on and off the window. He just loves doing it, so I've got loads of them. And then I also picked up these two lovely candles from Home Bargains. They were 90p or 99p each, and I'm going to be putting them on my mantelpiece just for like a little Christmassy candle sort of thing. But I just thought they were so cute on the front. Oh, you can't see it, it's gone the wrong way. It's got a little robin on, and I love the pattern on them as well. It reminds me of them socks or tights that everybody used to wear. I just think they're gorgeous. So I'm very happy with them too. Then I headed to the range. So I picked up a little lift the flat book for Ella. These are for when our elves arrive. So she's got a little one like this and a little snow globe, which I thought was really, really cute of a little elf. We've then got our activities of painting an elf door, making a Christmas tree and painting a little sun catcher to go on the window as well. So with all of these, I'm hoping that Buddy the Elf might be bringing some of them. So we will see what he does. Um, also in the range they have, oh, was this the range or was this? No, this was Morrison's. They had a countdown to Christmas and each day had a different activity. So I'm thinking that doing this again with Miles. Last year he had a ginormous one like this big from Aldi. They have them again this year. I think they're £1.50 or something. This one was £1.50 from Morrison's. Obviously down to 23p. Um, but it was brilliant. I absolutely loved doing it. He got a bit bored halfway through. So we're sort of skipping pages. But even so it's getting him to do something that he wouldn't normally do. And sit down and do an activity. So I was happy to get one of them. He then has a little uh, Christmas lunch in school, so I bought these to go with his Christmas lunch, so he can do a little bit of dressing up. Um, every time I find a Santa hat, they're always, always too big. So if you can link me to the best Santa hats for kids, then please let me know. Or they've always got some stupid stuff on them, and I'd rather just a nice, plain, really luxurious santa hat so if you can find one please link me down below so i can go get it but otherwise these are just adorable and i love them too and if he doesn't wear them i'll wear them all the time it's fine also in the range they have a lot like a lot a lot of um buddy the elf why do i call him buddy elf he is our elf that comes and he's called buddy but elf on a shelf 
loads and loads of elf on the shelf stuff so this is like an advent calendar and you go down and you say miles's name on the top and then it says today's behavior very good quite good a bit naughty very naughty and then it says the first second blah, 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 blah. and each day you cross off like it's a little scratch card thing you scratch off which one you've been and then i don't really know what happens at the end how many gold and silver and bronze or naughty elf tokens can you collect? So I don't know what actually happens at the end. Oh, it's a game. Ah, look, on the back there's a load of instructions. Obviously I didn't get that far into reading it, but I just thought it was really, really cute. And it's all about like scoring so many points. So I love that. That was really cheap. That was 129. Um, then also, I'm going to keep these on for the rest of the video, if you don't mind, because I just love them so much. Also, they have loads and loads of Christmas books. Honestly, loads. Like, loads. So the first one is a sticker book, because Miles obviously gets bored very, very fast. So I thought if it's stickers, he is going to sit down for at least 10 minutes <laughs> and give me a break over the Christmas holidays and just go in and fill or write or doodle or draw or stick like crazy something in this book so I can have a just even just a run to the toilet just please take the book take the book then we've got a carry along activity book which I think if it says a carry along it should have like a little handle on it so I'm disappointed with that but anyway it's really really small really cute and again it's got stickers and activities and writing and drawing and colouring in, mazes, loads of different things. But I just thought it was really, really cute. Something else to do if he doesn't want to do that one or if he's already done that one for the day. Then at least we've got something else we can get out. Because it's a long time, two weeks for them to be off school. So with him having loads of stuff, I mean he's going to have loads of presents as well. So this could be the lead up as well to Christmas. But at least there's some stuff for him to do. Right. And lastly, I bought these little school um, pack of cards. And inside are one teacher, one teaching assistant and 28 cards for the class. Which I think is an amazing idea. There's a teacher one here and the assistant one here. And all the other children get these ones. So next week or the week after, I'm going to ask the school for the list of the kids' names. And then we can gradually start doing these off. Even if he just does the muff for miles and I'll fill in the rest. But it's just something nice for him to do for his school. Again, 40p. Bargain. Morrison's. Um, and that was pretty much it, really. I think that was it. These are my favourite. <laughs> If you can't tell already <laughs> but yeah it's just little stuff loads of cheap things because i don't like the expensive stuff before christmas i think christmas day should be all of the big toys and just the little bits to keep them going throughout december and christmas day and things like that but anyway i'm getting rambling on again so i hope you like this video and if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below just the red button next to it's a little bell if you click that too it will tell you when all my new content is coming on i mean why would you want to miss this <laughs> so i'll see you again soon bye